Alright, hey there guys, Adrian Acosta here, aka JediBro95, coming at you guys with another video, and today in this video, I'm going to be going over each of the new team standouts that have been released into Madden 21 today. Now, apparently this is going to be the final team standout drop, so do not expect any more for Series 5 and beyond, whenever Series 5 comes out. Although they did confirm today that they will continue, they will still have more series in the game, but there will be no more team standouts. So this is the final drop for the year so uh in this video i want to go over the i want to go over each of them uh just give my quick general thoughts on them i might split this up into two videos uh just you know if this video takes too long but the first one right away we're going to be talking about andrew whitworth he is a left tackle for the uh uh almost at st louis the uh, los angeles rams and as you can see uh outside of his you know strength and awareness physically he's all right especially for alignment but he got what he's got 95 pass uh, run block, 93 run block power, 92 run block finesse, 95 pass block power and finesse, and 94 lead block and impact blocking. So this is a very, very good blindside protector. Um, overall, it's just a fantastic card. Um, I would be, I would genuinely be pretty happy with this card if I was a if I made a Rams team team. Now, as the recording of this video, I don't know if it's going to be that way when this video goes live. But at the recording of this video, the team standouts are bugged right now. You finish the challenges, but you don't get your Nat fantasy pack. So I don't know if it's going to be changed by the time the video comes up by the time the video comes out but with that being said um right now as it just looks uh right now this card is really good and i would be completely i would be completely fine with this if i needed a blindside protector and i didn't have the cash to get all the crazy ones next card is going to be aj Terrell. he is a cornerback for the um atlanta falcons uh, so 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 91 agility, 91 play rec, 91 awareness. Uh, you got 93 man, 95 zone, and 94 press. So with the power up, he'll have 99 man zone and press as well. He'll have maxed out speed if you put, like, put him powered up and on a theme team or even just without a theme team. Uh, this is a very good card, very good cornerback. Um, a lot of good things about this card. Uh, obviously, you know, I would like his jumping to be a little bit higher if I was a Falcon fan, but I would definitely be cool with this card. It is a very solid, uh, coverage card. I think it's a, I don't know what it says. I think I'm pretty sure it's a, um, yeah, it's just, it's a zone cornerback or a hybrid corner. Either way, it's still a very good cornerback. Next is Kenneth Murray. I won't spend too much time on this one because this one was spoiled yesterday. He is a run stopper uh right outside linebacker oh the archetypes are actually like right over here uh off to the side here uh you can't see them on my screen uh but it does show up on the screen on the side here so yeah right outside linebacker for the kenneth murray jr um i went over this card yesterday because he was spoiled uh but here's his full stats so he does have like 95 pursuit 95 tackling 80 96 hit power i think i did touch on those uh, and then 90 block shed and then for a coverage he actually has 81 zone coverage so that's actually not terrible for a run stopper um linebacker uh but at the same but you know what i mean that it's overall this is a very solid linebacker run stopping linebacker card i uh, i'd be okay with this card if i was if i was at the team now next card is deontay Deon deontay i th i'm hopefully i spelled that right uh johnson a 95 overall wide receiver i think he is a uh he might be a route runner i believe i have no idea okay he's a deep threat wide out looking at this on my screen uh so he has 94 speed 95 excel 94 agility 95 catch 94 94 catch 94 catch in traffic 91 spec 94 short and mid and 91 deep so with powered up you'll get to 99 catching and catching traffic with the um with uh i think what uh, play fake uh also he'll get to 99 um no west coast is catching catching traffic uh also he'll have a 99 short and mid route if you run play fake and on a theme team this card will be a 99 speed card so very good receiver um dude is actually a very solid 
uh, receiver. I really am. This is actually a really good card, to be honest. If I was making a random squad, honestly, I wouldn't be upset with having this card. Uh, next is um, Montez Sweat. He is a speed rusher D defensive right end for the Washington football team. I almost said the um, team in question. Almost said the former team in question by mistake. But here we go. 93 speed, 95 excel. 82 agility, which whatever for a defensive end. But for defense, he's got 93 block shed, 95 pursuit, 94, 94 tackling, 95 hit power, uh, 87 play rec. Yeah, but one thing that's jumping out at me, as you see with this top comment, because I'm trying to hide these comments, this is a very fast defensive end. Like, these defensive ends now are really quick. Um, it's kind of crazy how quick some of these ends are are right now like my goodness so powered up with sprinter and theme team bonus you're looking at a 98 speed defensive end that is a very washington football team uh the washington football team's uh uh team this year is actually like very good like wow uh next is joe Schobert. Schobert. he is a middle linebacker for the um jacksonville jaguars there we go uh he is a field general 86 speed 88 excel 93 block shed 96 pursuit 96 tackling 94 hip power 95 awareness and play rec uh and then coverage stats he actually has a 90 zone coverage um it's just unfortunate that middle linebackers are not very good this year it, it is a shame because you know i i I tend to look at more than just the speed of the player in question when we're talking about the cards in general. But that being said, middle linebackers in Madden 21, they're just not very uh, effective this year. They're great at stopping the run on occasion. Um, you know, when you when you go in your 4-3 or your um, nickel sets. Uh, but other than that, they're, they're not very good this year. Uh, next is Jaden Mills. He is a hybrid strong safety for the Philadelphia Eagles. So right away, 93 speed, except 92 jumping, 95 excel. Uh, my apologies on that one. Um, 96 zone, 93 press, 88 man, uh, 74 catch, 93. So he's a good all-around safety. Um, very good on. So he'll get 99 zone coverage with lockdown. Uh, almost maxed out. Uh, with the power up and lockdown maxed out, you will be able to max out his press. Um. And I think you'll be able to max out his acceleration and agility as well on a on his um well I think I can't remember what physical training it is to get agility I think it's shaker so with shaker maxed out you'll get ninety nine agility but yeah this card is very sol solid card right now for the Eagles theme team uh, looking pretty sweet uh, next for the Lions is Taylor Decker uh, going in alphabetical order he is a power offensive tackle. Uh, and so moving to his blocking, which we don't really look at the physical. I don't really care about the physicals. Um, 90 ready run blocking, 82 run block power, 80, 92 run block finesse, 94 pass block, 96 pass block power, 94 pass block finesse, uh, 96 lead block and 97 impact block. So powered up, uh, you'll be able to get uh, 99 on either the run or pass blocking, uh, depending on the chems you use. Um, yeah, this is a very good tackle, um, very good pass protector, um, all in all, yeah, I think this is just a good card. Next is Vaughn Bell for team standouts, uh, for team standouts, for the Cincinnati Bengals. He is a run support strong safety, so he can actually be a good sub linebacker, which I've noticed a lot with, like, when it comes to, like, run support safeties, they're... The, they're like the best part, way to put middle linebacker you know because for me i have cam chancellor and jamal adams on my team and they're playing my sub linebacker spots in my nickel sets and my dime set and they're they're really good like they're just really solid this year but anyways 92 speed 95 excel 92 play rec 95 man that's zone i mean 93 man um 94 pursuit 90, 94 tackle so powered up um Unfortunately, you will not be able to get to 99 man all powered up. That is a bit of a shame. Uh, <laughs> that, that really does suck. But hey, either way, it's still a very good card. Um, yeah, it's just a very good card. Um, Bengals get a good safety now, I think. I don't know much about the Bengals theme team, but I know somebody on PlayStation, if you're watching this video, I know you're going to enjoy this card.
uh, for your team, and I hope you guys do enjoy it. Uh, next is uh, Sterling Shepard. He is a route runner wide receiver, so already he is going to be a very good card because he can get a uh, route technician for 2 AP, um, which is a very important ability in this game. Uh, so 93 speed, 95, 95 excel, 94 agility, 93 catch and catch in traffic, 95 spec, 93 short and mid, uh, 93 short and deep, and a 92 mid route, and then 93 release, and then 93 change of direction. So powered up, you, you will be able to get to 99 catching, 99 short, and 99 spec catch, depending on the chems you run, and 99 deep. Um... And now speed, I think you won't be able to hit 99 speed on this card. Uh, but hey, 98 still pretty good nowadays with Sprinter maxed out. So yeah, this is a good card um, for the Giants. I was really hoping this one though. This one I was really talked. I talked about in my last video about like uh, about predictions for the team standouts for the Seahawks. This one I was hoping would have been Golden Tate because that way I would have been able to get him and get. Uh, the team standout, which I'll talk about here later. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I was really hoping this would have been Golden Tate, but it wasn't. So it's whatever. Uh, Will Fuller, I won't spend too much time on that one, uh, to, on this one, to be honest, because we did see him yesterday. Uh, just real quick, these are his quick numbers here. Uh, and also for the interest of this video, it is kind of getting uh, like 11 minutes already. But yeah, this is a good card. Um, very good route runner. Uh, very good uh for a deep th for a good very good route runner good speed good fast card um deep threat wide receiver you know whatever uh ezekiel elliott again uh another card that i don't want to spend too much time on because he was also spoiled yesterday and a lot of uh you know it, it's a good card so uh moving on next is jc jackson um he is now uh, got an upgrade for a cornerback. So 94 speed and Excel, 93 agility, 96 man, 95, 94 zone, 95 press. So you'll be able to get to 99 and all three man zone and press for coverage stats with lockdown maxed out. And you'll be able to get to 99 speed with theme team and the um, sprint and sprint are maxed out on this card. So this card is a very good cornerback. Um, I'm going to be honest, like, I have a free spot on my team. I might pick this card up and have him be my, like, fifth or sixth, like, fourth or fifth corner right now. Because this card looks really good for... Now, now I won't be able to get the 90, 99 speed, but you know what? I'm fine with that. Um, where was I? Uh, Joey... Josie Jewel. There we go. I hope I said that right. He is a run stopper middle linebacker. 86 speed, which is pretty, uh, to be honest, like a lot of these linebackers nowadays are in the mid nineties to even low nineties. Yeah, this was the, I, I, I feel your pain Broncos fans. This one was not a very good set to you guys, uh, at least for this one. Uh, but for defense, 90, 94 block shed, 93 pursuit, 94 tackle, 95 hit power. Yes. He has an 85 zone coverage for a run stopper, which is okay, I guess. But, yeah, this card is just not very good. Uh, I would say it's one of the worst ones so far in in this um, in this set. Uh, Mike Gesicki, again, this is another card I'm not going to spend too much time on because he was revealed yesterday. Uh, DJ Moore for the Carolina Panthers is up next. Uh, he has not gotten an upgrade since, wow, since his first card. So, wow, that is crazy. But he is a deep threat wide receiver with 94 speed, 94 catching, 93 catching traffic, 95 spec, uh, 93 short, 92 mid, and 91 deep. Um, so this card is actually really good. Um, Panthers fans, I would I would don't know if you guys are happy with this card or not. I'm I'm a little conflicted because it has great speed and great uh, physical stats, but looking at its at its reception and receiving stats, like got a 93 short which powered up being 94 so if you're rocking west coast or play fake you have a 99 short route but then he'll only have like a 92 mid and a 93 deep route running i don't know if that's something you guys would be okay with but to me personally i'm not a fan of this in my personal opinion especially with a deep threat wide receiver i was expecting the deep route running to be like a 96 uh but that's just me Mark Andrews is the Ravens team standout that was spoiled today. 
Um, so 88 speed, which is not very good because we're looking at tight ends now with like 90 plus speed. You know, it's just, yeah. Yeah, it's just not very good. And also, apparently, according to this first comment here, the Ravens have like six tight ends to choose from. So the Ravens got another tight end in my, which is crazy. Uh, but even then, his catching stats are really good. Uh, 94 catch, 95 catch in traffic, 95 spec, 93 short and mid, and 90 deep, which is pretty high. Um, so maxed out with power up, you'll have 99. Um, actually, no, it's only plus four, so it's not plus five. So plus four with this, you'll have uh, 98 uh, route running for short and mid. But yeah, this card is pretty sweet. It's just a it's just a shame that they have like eight tight ends now apparently uh kenny moore is the cornerback this is the indianapolis colts one he is a slot cornerback so very good card 93 speed sorry 93 speed 94 excel 93 agility 94 man zone and 96 zone and 80 92 press there we go so with power up and lock max locked maxed lockdown you're gonna have 99 man in zone uh and on theme team you'll have a 90 uh 98 speed give or take so this talk card seems like a very good card um i think colts fans will be okay with this one um you know it's just a shame that they don't have peyton manning yet i don't know why he's not in the game at the moment um i'll touch on, but i'll talk about like my issues with the issue with licensing and crap in another video uh, Chris Carson is the Seahawks one. This was the first card I predicted to be the Seahawks team standout for uh, this set. He was my first prediction. And he, guess what? He ended up being proven right. So he is a power back. So 92 speed, 94 excel, 94 trucking, 84 change of direction, which is pretty bad. 92 juke, which is kind of weird. He has a high juke, but he has a low change of direction. 92 carrying, 92, 95 stiff arm, 95 break tackle. He is a good back. It's just a shame that um, Sean Alexander is better. Uh, but he is still my He's still to be my second running back um, on my team. But yeah, he's yeah he's not really. He's probably not going to see the field yet. He, although I'm still waiting on that Greg Olson tribute card. Uh, Dion Dawkins is the next card, and this is going to be the last card I showcase for this video, uh, because this is getting pretty long in stature. Um, so this card is pretty solid. Um, 93 run block, 92 run block power, 95 run block finesse, 95 pass block, 95 pass, 4 pass block power, 96 pass block finesse, 95 lead block. Very good card. He is a agile left tackle. Yeah, he's just a solid card. Nothing really to complain about. Uh, I think Bills fans would like this one. Uh, but that's going to be the end of this first one uh, for team standouts. Uh, we're almost done. We're um, we're like, got, we got a few more up to Anthony Hitchens. But with that being said, guys, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.